Welcome to today's demo from Introspect Technology. Today, we will illustrate how easy it is to generate active protocol compliant video frames using the SV3 MIPI DeFi generator. The hardware setup for today's uh, demo is illustrated here, where we show the SV3 uh, DeFi generator box uh, uh, connected here. Uh, this is a very compact four lane DeFi generator and CeFi generator as well that is uh, able to create both protocol uh, packets as well as electrical conformance testing um, uh, parameters using a very simple hardware setup and a very simple software environment as well. For today's illustration, we connect one data lane to the oscilloscope. So the positive and negative terminals of one data lane are connected to two channels on the oscilloscope. And then the clock lane is also connected to the oscilloscope. As you are well aware, the uh, MIPI DeFi standard is a forwarded clock um, interface, and so we're connecting both the one lane of the data as well as the forwarded clock to the oscilloscope uh, for uh, illustration. The uh, DeFi generator is controlled through software, through the Introspect DSP software, which is shown here. And as you are well aware by now, the Introspect DSP software contains a parameters uh, tab, uh, that's really the area where you enter some uh, your test procedures. And test procedures are based on the uh, uh, intuitive uh, Python programming language. And so uh, the uh, test procedure for compliant video frame generation is shown here. As you can see, it's a single line. And the line simply calls a component class called the MEP DeFi generator. And so this component class is really a representation of the tester itself. It's the area in the software where you define the number of lanes that you want to generate a video frame on, the line rate itself for the pixels as they come out of the generator, as well as electrical, analog electrical parameters such as voltages and skews and jitters and so on, all specified at a high level using this component. And then finally, the component gives you the ability to select the kind of payload that you want to transmit. So the test system, as we described, is able to create uh, protocol packets like video frames or file level packets for physical layer testing. And so for today's setup and certainly the default configuration for the system is that it's configured to create what is called a color bar pattern. And the color bar pattern is defined in a separate component here where you can specify parameters such as, uh, you know, image resolution, uh, the protocol parameters themselves. Since, as I said, this is a complete protocol solution, whether it's CSI or DSI or even your custom protocol um, that, that can be generated. So the software is really compartmentalized to allow you to look at the tester at uh, a high level, the pattern, the payload pattern that you want to transmit, as well as physical layer uh, parameters that are mandated by the MIPI alliance. And so by default, the system is already configured to create a, a video frame. You do not have to do any programming to create a video frame. And uh, before I click Run, I'll just uh, connect it to the oscilloscope and just make sure that we see uh, the signals uh, as we hit Run. And so I've set the scope to trigger on the clock lane. Right now, it's waiting for uh, an image, a packet transmission, and it's not seeing anything. And as soon as I click Run, uh, we'll start to see uh, packets on the scope. And so here we are. We went from a quiet state on the scope to uh, packet transmission. And like I said, what we're seeing on the scope are four channels. Channel 1 and 2 are the yellow and green traces here, and they represent one data lane on the MIPI DeFi link. And then channels 3 and 4 of the scope are shown here in the purple and red colors and they represent the forwarded clock lane in the MIPI DeFi uh, specification. And so with just one click, we're able to generate a video frame. The video frame is now playing forever. And what we're really looking at here, what we're zoomed on here, is the frame start packet. So it's a short packet that signifies the beginning of the frame. And I could simply just move out, zoom, zoom out gradually to see uh, first, we're seeing the burst mode nature of MIPI, right? So we're seeing that, uh, you know, active 
active packets are transmitted in between periods of quiet, uh, low power uh, state. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make here is that as we zoom out, we start to see a view of the entire video frame being transmitted. So the, the, the default uh, frame that I transmitted was 640 by 480 uh, pixels. And so uh, if we zoom out here, we should really see 640 different packets that are being transmitted representing the entire video frame. And so there you have it with just one click, one command uh, in the Introspect ESP software, you're able to generate fully compliant uh, CSI or DSI or custom protocol packets um, and do uh, uh, protocol and electrical receiver testing. Thank you very much for your attention.